Hey friends, how's it going and welcome to this uh, bonus lesson. So I make this video to address one of the questions from uh, one of uh, the students over here and I'm going to open up this question over here. So as you can see, I'm inside my Udemy instructor Q&A and this question is from John Lawrence and he said, showing the heart a bit weird for me. He says, hi Kelvin, showing the heart feels a bit weird. It's kind of late for me. I prefer to show it right away without the 750 milliseconds delay. How do we do this with combine? So I clarify, do you mean that this uh, heart shows up 750 milliseconds after typing into the search? He says, yes. Is there a way we could show the, um, the loading indicator without the 750 milliseconds delay here? But the delay would still remain for the API call. Thank you. So I decided to make this video because it's, it's quite difficult just to uh, you know, paste screenshots over here. And I, I also want to explain like, how I can um, how you can implement this, okay? Because this could be a real uh, product requirement if you're working in a tech company. So I'm gonna show you the current uh, behavior right now first. So let's open up the simulator and I'm gonna type in something over here. So I'm gonna type in everyone's favorite stock, which is Tesla. So notice when I type in T, I have to wait for uh, a while before uh, the loading indicator shows up. So if I type in E, Notice I have to wait for a while before the loading indicator shows up. So what I want to do is that the moment I type in something like an S, I want the loading indicator to show up immediately. Okay, I believe that's the uh, that's the ask from John Lawrence uh, Sabadaw. So let's uh, do this right now. So uh, the the two files that we need to uh, to to modify is the search table view controller because uh, under this function observe form we are observing this search query publisher. So let's see what this is. Okay. So notice that this is a string, okay? And this is a publisher. So what is happening inside this observe form function is that every time this, uh, this variable is being changed, we uh, debounce. Debounce means we wait, we wait for uh, this period of time, which is 750 milliseconds, before we perform whatever that's inside this block over here, okay? So the way we are going to uh, handle this is we're gonna use something uh, called this function called handle events. So let me show it to you how we do this, okay? So search query dot handle events. Okay, so when I hit the enter button, notice that there are a lot of uh, uh, parameters over here, okay? So these are basically closures. If I hit the enter button one more time, notice that I have, uh, I can receive uh, uh, basically the information, the subscription, as well as the output, as well as the completion, as well as the cancer, uh, as well as the demand, all right? So these are basically uh, events uh, that um, that's being written to me and I can actually do something inside over here. But I'm not interested in all these um, this events. I'm only interested in the output, okay? So how can I write my code such that I only want the output? All right, so the way we can do that is, uh, let me just show it to you. So search event, search query dot handle events. And I'm going to just copy this uh, receive output, paste this over here and, and just uh, create this open and close curly braces, just like that. And then I can just uh, remove everything else after that, okay? So just like this, just kill everything over here and I have to put in the output over here, okay? So this is the same way as writing this and ignoring the rest of the other um, callbacks that we don't need, okay? So let me just remove this whole thing over here and notice that I can actually chain this with a sync right so what we can do is uh, I can also chain this with a debounce right so what we can do is that we can just cut this here so that um, we can uh, connect them both together all right so what we want to do right now is that the shoulder loading animation only happens uh, after the debounce happens so I want to just cut this and paste this over here okay so right now when I run the simulator, notice that this will work, kind of, sort of. Okay, we have a problem here. So let's pass in an unknown self here. So I think once we pass in unknown self, we don't have to type in the self dot. So let's run this one more time. And uh, I notice that there's a warning over here. So I think maybe let's just uh, add the unknown self here as well. Or, yep. And I don't think I need those uh, brackets over here. So run this one more time, I won't see the warnings anymore, which is nice. I like really clean code over here. Oh, what's the problem? Is it showing again? No, it shouldn't show. Let me try that one more time. Build up, succeeded. Okay, cool. Now notice that we have a problem over here. Notice that this, <clears throat> at the start, this um, this loading indicator is showing up. And what is the, what, what's the problem over here? Okay, so, Whenever the observe form is being called, search query will actually be a nail. So let me just print out what is output over here. So I'm gonna uh, run this, and notice that at, at right at the start, 
let's go and do okay that idea so let me do it this way instead okay so ttt so we can identify this okay so right at the start it's going to print out empty string so we don't really want that so what we can do is that we can add a gut statement over here so i'm going to say that uh, let's make sure that this is not empty but this time let's uh let's output let's run this one more time so i believe right now this will work okay so now we don't have that uh, loading uh, indicator right at the start so when i type in the word t notice that uh, i'm saying that um the loading indicator but we have a, a small problem over here so let me type in everyone's favorite stop again T E S L A. so notice that the loading indicator is not uh, is not hiding and what's the problem the problem is because we are calling this uh, this show loading animation multiple times all right so let's call this uh, maybe let's do it this way show loading animation okay so let me run this and show, show you what the problem is of, uh, over here so let's do in T-E-S-L-A. So notice that we are calling this function multiple times. And what does this function do? Okay, so if you look at the implementation, we are adding uh, the progress heart into the view as a sub view of the view controller. So we don't want to do that. So we want to check to ensure that this progress heart is not already added into the view before we call this, uh, this line over here. So we have to do some kind of checking. Okay, so let's do let is shown. All right, so guys, how do we find out whether uh, the view, or, or rather, how do we find out whether MD progress art is already showing up in the view? All right, one way, I, I think there are multiple ways to do it, but I think the way that I prefer to do it is to check the sub view uh, of the view controller's view to see if it contains a view that is MD progress art. All right, so this is the way I'm gonna do it. And it's shown, it's true if, this is not empty it equals to false all right so if it's not empty it means that empty progress hard is a sub view inside the view controllers view all right so i can do if is shown if it's not shown rather then i'll call this function over here okay it's complaining because we're inside a closure so let's just do an unknown self over here and let's uh, run the simulator this time and I believe it should work right now. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we don't get the progress heart showing uh, up at the start. So let's go with T. Okay, so it's good right now. E, S, L, A. Okay, so notice that we are not uh, calling this uh, multiply. Or, or rather, maybe let's uh, just... Let's just... Showing. Okay, let's run this one more time. And let's ensure that we're not calling this... We're only calling this once, okay? So... Let me show you the simulator, T-E-S-L-A, all right, which is great. So when I hit the backspace button, uh, I'm supposed to make another API call. So when I hit the backspace button, it should show this and hide the, uh, uh, the progress heart. Hit the backspace button, hit it twice, do an E, and then hit the backspace button one more time. All right, guys, so I hope that uh, this is the implementation that I would use, and I hope that this answers your questions, uh, John, all right? Uh, yep, I really hope that you can leave a nice review for this course if you haven't and uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next uh, video. Alright, cheers, bye.